boy Yardman Leng from Asso It Set Airsoft Channel. Um, and for those of you who are like, oh, what is this Asso It Set is this guy talking about? ASSO um, is short for Airsoft Special Ops. So it's just our short way of saying it. I've even got it on my gun. Show you guys quickly. Boom. And then I've got it down here as well. Boom. <laughs> so support, like, share, do all that good stuff. Um, I kind of just wanted to do like a, a quick Easter egg video. It's, it's what time? It is 1.36 in the morning. So you guys best love me forever, car. I'm tired from work and I'm doing this video for y'all. But I kind of just wanted to boss you guys on something I came across. So for those of you who knew, know, I'm on my airsoft journey and I wanted to basically bring you guys, the viewers, um, basically on the field with me. It's all good sharing little snippets that I take on my phone or pictures from the day and stuff like that. But all that really does is create an excitement um, for you guys. And then you're like, oh, I want to see more. Um, so one of the key things that uh, I've been asked to do on the channel is just like in in game gameplay basically so I'm gonna try and do things like um, at the firing range testing my pistols testing my current gas rifle pardon me and then I'm gonna do other things like um, actual in gameplay when I'm with my team members or when I'm solo with myself probably on the head cam or on the gun gun cam and kind of just show you guys what it's like burning through bushes and something blowing up right in front of you or somebody smoke grenading right beside you or stuff like that because most of the games I go to this is these are the things that happen actively in game so hopefully you guys enjoy that but um, as a 2.0 I done a video where I bought a battery because obviously the GoPro ain't gonna last for the whole day like as good as they are and as much as some of them have their interchangeable batteries I went for one um, which is the 7Y and that has a battery internal so I need an external battery pack just so that once it dies I saw this the other day when I was testing it like um, it lasted very long I will say that it, it again like as I test it it outdoes my expectations which is quite interesting for such a small tiny camera but um you guys will hear all about that when I do the review video for the 7 Y. But um, along with testing, I knew that I was gonna run out of battery and these are one of the things that happened. So I thought, why not try and put a battery on my gun, basically. So that's what I've done. Um, you guys are probably seeing this gun hundreds of times by this point that this video comes out. But, um, and every time it looks different, now I've got like bare wires hanging off it and stuff like that, which is just basically for charging sake. Over time, what I'd like to do is um, have my GoPro here on this side, if you guys can see it, on this side, which means that I'm gonna need some kind of charging um, system for it, because obviously it's not gonna last the whole day. So I've gone for the Anchor, I believe it's the Anchor, I think it's called Power, Power Core 5000. Um, I've done a video on that, so please check the channel, have a look, I speak a lot on it. Um, as a backup, because you're probably like, why do you need more then? Um, so I'm going to need two cameras. You obviously have your GoPro, and then you have what is called a scope cam, which is averagely what you get your shot footage from, if that makes sense. So every time I hit somebody or um, somebody close to me, and I'm trying to just zoom up on them, it would be from my scope camera. So that's something over time I'm going to upgrade and grab um, so that you guys can have scope cam footage as well. But for the moment, we're gonna go with GoPro. So this was just me thinking ahead. As as great as the power core 5000 is, cause that's 5000 um, milliamps, which is more than useful. Cause yesterday when the GoPro died, I charged, I managed to charge it f to full. And um, this thing has three bars. I think I can show you quickly. There you are. If you click the button it shows up and if you notice all three bars are still there so it's obviously it's not still it's not full but it's still got three bars which shows me that this probably would hopefully fingers crossed will charge my gopro maybe like four times before it dies but that's only my uh guess 
because that may change like it, in physicality it might be less or it might be more so we will keep testing and i'll get back to you guys on that but um i also knew that if i'm gonna wear my cam on my head because for example that would power my scope cam over time at the moment it will power my gopro because obviously that's my main cam at the moment but when I do expand and get a run cam or a scope, uh, a scope cam that's what the power power core 5000 is for so in my mind in the back of my mind I was like oh so if say when I get to the place that because in theory all I've got to do is buy a scope cam and I'm in that position basically so I was like oh say my scope cam's charging and obviously this only has one USB slot I don't know if you guys can see it on the side. There's only one USB slot to, for output. So I couldn't, I knew straight off the top, I was like, oh, this is only gonna power one device at a time. They say they're both, say I'm in like the third or fourth game and my scope cam is low and my GoPro's low. I'm gonna need to be able to charge them both at the same time, right? So um, I went online, looked at options. Didn't really find much luck because most of them look like Chinese copies and I'm very funny with cheap Chinese copies. Like some of them are great. Like I showed you the the power bank my brother gave me from Primark. That's a Chinese mod, but it is I haven't had one issue with it and ten ten thousand milliamps is really good. Like like I said, I have, I have times where I'm out and my battery's like on like 10, 15% and I've used it, it's charged my phone to 100% and it's still got like halfway charge um, on the, the thing or three quarters charge which I find really cool because this means that I could charge my phone three or four times over before the thing dies that's really cool because if I'm travelling to Wells I can feel comfortable having that with me and knowing my phone will be reduced up throughout that journey or say my headphones that I can feel confident that my, that will charge my both headphones like you gonna get what I'm saying I don't know if you guys are creatives like me but if you guys travel and go through these creative things trust me you will appreciate these things so one thing I did want was another cam for not another uh, another battery pack for the gun because I was like once I say the scope cams on there and my um, GoPro is on there and even if my GoPro isn't on the gun as well, like say my scope cam's on my gun, I say my GoPro's on my head, I need a way, cause this, this battery, I'm not gonna take off the gun. That's why I've kind of strapped it to the gun. Um, if you guys can see, little DIYing, just to get what I'm looking for. You know what I'm saying? Little DIYing. But um, yeah, so I basically knew I needed another battery. It's the long and short of it. Um, so what I decided to go for was and yeah you're probably like there's adjustments but we'll talk we'll talk about that later because i've done quite a few different little cool things like even this nozzle it's because i want to basically keep grenades and things here so it's just easy to just pull and throw but again likely i might take that off because that might be a real good spot for a laser for my laser which would allow me to move it from the top so We'll see man, you know me, I'm always changing this gun up. So yeah, I basically wanted another battery pack that was powerful enough to charge uh, this if it ever died. Um, and something that I could potentially use as like a, how do you want to call it, like a head power pack. And I say a head power pack because the GoPro that goes in your helmet, it only sticks somewhere up here. I'll do a video on that which means that your battery pack can only sit at the back of your helmet in like a pouch ring so i like i said i had a look online didn't have much luck but um when me i love traveling through places like cex and cash converters just to check because sometimes you find some great bargains um and they're they're in good nick still like they're not broken down or shitty or none of these things you know sometimes when you buy a pre-owned they can be fucked up because the people haven't uh maintain them well if you want to call it that but i came across um this thing here which is the anchor let me actually give you the right name uh, it is late and my ass is tired so it is the anchor power core 13 milliamp which is really cool picked up at cex it wasn't even expensive like that funny enough like i bought my power core 5000 brand new for i think it was like 25 pound 20 pound it was 25 pound and it was on offer 
I think it was on offer for like 17 pounds, so I bought it while it was on offer. Whereas this, this, and, and that's only 5,000 milliamp, but it's brand new. So you have to take this into consideration with pricing. Um, this is the power core 13,000, 13, which means that I've got five, 8,000 more milliamp, and I bought this second hand for 20 quid. So do you get it? It's, it? This was a bargain, and if you notice, it's still boxed. Then I'll I'll show you it properly. When I opened it, it was in good nick and everything. So trust me, it was a it was a steal. So this is kind of why I wanted to show you guys this because this would make. I obviously, still got to test it. So as I test it, I'll give you guys proper feedback. But I kind of wanted to just do an unboxing and kind of show you guys when thinking about head. Um, we're well not head, but uh, what, what would you call it? Like um extended battery life or extended uh, extended portable battery life keep these things in mind because Anchor be doing their shit and like I said they're affordable for me to get the 5000 um, Powercore 5000 for only about 17 quid brand new and it's till now I'm still looking at it touching it it just feels really nice it's a good quality build and like I said it's been able to do the GoPro once over and it's still full, basically all, all, all three bars. So yeah, almost threw that on the floor. But um, so yeah, that's that. And then I also came across this little bad boy here. Like you're probably like, what the hell is that? It looks like a Duracell because it is a bloody Duracell. So it turns out Duracell also do um, portable chargers. So I kind of wanted to show you that guys this one as well, because I believe this is what will go on my gun as like my secondary battery life so one will be for my gopro one will be for my uh, scope cam this likely will be for my scope cam and the, the interesting thing is this is 6700 milliamp this little thing look how small it is even has a little button with a light but i'll i'll, I'll show you guys i just want you guys to see like it's it's really cool it's quite small like this is my power core 5000 and you can see like even size wise difference this is a lot shorter it's probably slightly thinner it's probably a little bit wider in terms of width but it's so tiny like i was looking at it the other day and saying look i could literally slide it um in between my gun holster rail thing not rail but my handle and it would literally just sit there and you wouldn't even realize it's there do you kind of get what i'm trying to say so over time that's probably what my uh gas gun is gonna look like well and it doesn't stand out too heavily if you notice it's like it kind of like, like just chills there especially if your hands on it it kind of just serves its own kind of purpose in a weird way so i think over time i might strap it on and use it or even just flick it well no nah, because i want the usb bit accessible right so yeah i'll figure that out anyway but i just kind of wanted to show you guys because for the size of it and the price of it it's a win like this gives me the so between the two of them i'll be able to well three of them if i'm to be honest so the power core 5000 which is already strapped to the gun will power my for example even my scope cam or my gopro this would be my secondary which would be direct power for my scope cam or my gopro so do you see my gun power is sorted if that makes sense like i should be stable throughout the whole day now camera wise and then um the the camera that sits on my helmet will also have this backup power core which will sit at the back of the helmet again i'll show you guys in another video and i also need to buy the pouch for my helmet to be able to show you guys that stuff but i kind of wanted to buy it just in case like i said throughout the games i'm charging 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 and say i get halfway through the day and i'm like oh they're all dead and i'm not at my own house how do i charge this it's very easy i have the core power pack that has 13,000 and this is 6,700 uh, 6, and that's 5,000 so in theory that's what 5 and 6 that's 11 yeah so in theory this would fully charge these back to normal which means that in theory I wouldn't even have to put on my helmet I could use it as like a 
my reserve to charge those two once they're finished because like I said if I'm using my scope cam throughout the whole day and I'm using my GoPro throughout the whole day it's likely those two charges are gonna die eventually do you kind of get what I'm trying to say so buy while I wait for the investment so I'll show you each item real quick we'll start with the Duracell because um, let me give you the name of it as well so this is the Duracell 6700 milliamp power bank um, I believe the model is the PB2 power bank 2 so this is gen 2 I believe there is a gen 1 as well um, affordable 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 that's why I'm showing you guys this because when looking online I found things that was like 40 pounds 60 pounds 75 pounds just to get the compactness with the large milliamp uh, wattage plus it being safe whereas I literally paid 15 pounds for this one five and it does six sixty seven hundred is really cool amount because like I said this is more than my power core 5000 which is interesting because when I was looking at the milliamps I was like this little thing is kicking out more power than that than this like look at even the size difference I'm just like what this is smaller but it just goes to show what Duracell can do but um yeah I'll show you guys it quickly it has a little button like uh, most and then obviously I, have, I need to I still need to charge it I haven't had a chance to charge it since I've got it but um I just kind of wanted to show you guys it quickly it has a little Duracell right in there it looks like a Duracell battery it has this input which is like a I call it old school USB, so you guys allow me. I'm sure there's a proper word for it. Um, but it's a male old school USB from my understanding. But a thin one. So I call it like a Gen 2 old school USB. And then the output, which is how you relieve power to another device. Um, yeah, right there. Quite cool, quite tucked away. They do look like quite premium, to be honest. It's kind of why I picked it up. Affordable. And then it's got writing at the bottom. So yeah, and just for size comparison, like it is quite small. My hand is not the biggest hand and even to my hand it's quite small. So just so you guys can see size difference wise. But um, so yeah, we're gonna give this a charge probably tomorrow cause it's late. I'm so tired now, but um, we'll give this a try and let you guys know. And I'll even probably, like I said, just connect it permanently um, to my 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 uh, gas gun because I just feel like it would do its thing, man. Like you're gonna get what I'm saying, especially once the scope cam is here, because I need a way to consecutively power that scope cam for it. Well, not consecutively, but once it's died, power it, or once it's close to that, and power it. So definitely a good investment. Um, with the Owl Anchor Power Core 13,000, we're gonna give you a quick unboxing. So, obviously, it's pre owned, so it's already been opened. I'm just gonna bust it for you guys. Comes with a little. Oh, is that a USB down there? How do I get to it though? Oh, you pull it out, so there's like a little pulley thing. Similar to the Apple box, so in theory I shouldn't have pulled the battery out like that. It looks like what should have happened. See me, being a yard man, you know. What should have happened is, obviously there's a little pulley thing, you'd pull that out. And then obviously the whole unit would come out. And then it looks like there is a USB, which is quite cool. Because this is... Oh, and it doesn't even look like the person has ever opened it, so maybe that's the thing. That's pretty cool. So I believe I've got another one of these, but I put, I think it, I, it's what I put on the gun. If I'm correct, maybe I'm wrong. But, um, yeah, so you get the uh, original USB by Anchor, even has their writing on it, with their logo. Um, get a little booklet little user guide at one point I was trying to read this thing there's so many different languages but yeah there is also English section so just make sure you're reading the right bit um, so that's, that comes in there 
and obviously you get the battery. Person's obviously been cool enough to leave the original packaging, which I like. I just, like some people are like, why do you even care about that? I, I like to buy stuff in its original format. I just, it's nostalgic for me. But um, yeah. And it, even this, like, it is like, oh, nearly fruit on the floor. What's going on? Butterfingers today. Um, it is a decent size, not too massive. Show your price comparison, price size comparison to the other battery. Like the other battery could go in it maybe twice, but that's still like even like thirteen thousand is good because this is six thousand seven hundred. This is basically double, just underneath double what this puts out. And the good thing I like about this compared to this and the uh, Power Core five thousand is. This has two USB slots for output. So if I, if in theory, if it, like this for me is a bit too big to chuck on my gun, but if this was on my gun, I could use just this one to power both my cameras, which do you get what I'm trying to say? Like depending on what type of user you are, like say you've got something like an M4, maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea strapping this to your mag and connecting it or strapping it to your frame somewhere as long as it isn't interfering with any of your functionality or how you hold your gun because now you could power two cams and it's 13,000 it's very rare 13,000 milliamp is very rare that both your cameras between four to six games that you play because averagely that's what skirmishes all the skirmishes I've gone to are it's between like four to, to the most that I've had in one day is like eight games and that's just because they squeezed in I think the last game or two um, this will definitely come in handy because from one device you're outputting to two devices plus like I said it's, it's so much battery life that it's very rare this is going to run out yeah I'm saying that trying to say unless you're plugging your phone and the two cams then yeah maybe there's a chance there because that's three whole devices now being powered just by one bank which in itself says it's own thing but um, it feels nice Similar to the Power Core uh, 5000, if the plastic feels similar, very similar, touching them both at the moment. So probably like, what's his hand doing? But yeah, that's that's basically what I'm doing. Yeah, they feel like the same plastic. This also does have a light. It has the anchor logo. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, hopefully you guys can see the anchor logos up there. Um, and then it has like a button at the top up there where you can click. Once you click it, it shows you how much charge it currently has. Which is really cool. These are the goodies that we want and need. So yeah, like again, I probably got to just give this a good little charge, similar to the Duracell, and then just put them through extensive testing. At the moment, because I don't have the scope cam, I'm just gonna really be testing these, oh, testing, sorry, testing these with the GoPro. So maybe when I'm taking the GoPro out for a day with me, I might just have this with me because it's 6,700, like, this probably by itself will charge, will charge the GoPro enough times because the 5,000 seems to be holding its own. So 6,700 should be doing this thing too. Um, and it's just cool, like small, you can just chuck in a backpack or you could even probably connect this to your tripod holder thing, if you get what I mean, because it's so small, you could just elastic it round it and then now it's got its own separate power source for an extra hour or two. So that's cool, man. Therefore, I think that's what I'm going to test this one for. And I think with this one, for the moment, I'd probably, like I said, use this more like as a feeder. Uh, charging pack where this charges other things like um, other charging packs because 13,000 is so much that's like yeah this would just be a reserve that sits around somewhere in the airsoft bag so that if at any point something has died and I don't have a way to charge it I can just be like oh there's 13,000 milliamp reserve boom bang it out and it's so small that like it will tuck away you'll forget it's there however it's there if you need it, so yeah, man. We'll give these things test, and I'll get back to you. So I'm writing down the bottom. You can see it's very basic, but it does its thing. I just feel like one thing I like with Anchor is their things are nice and compact. They feel good in the hand, 
and they work. They damn work and they're user friendly because like I said, you've got the one and the two um, outputs for USBs and then you've got your obviously your input to make sure that you can charge the actual um, power bank itself. So yeah, so far so good. And I feel like it's a worthy investment, especially for somebody like me who's trying to take airsoft serious and just trying to make sure I have the things to get the job done basically so yeah man with that being said peoples thanks again for having me for another airsoft special ops um, review video and that was the anchor power core 13000 and the duracell 6700 um power bank 2.